Hi, I'm Aboriginal medium Sean Leonard, founder of Spirit Talker Tribe. We've all had doubts about the information we've received from the spirit world. I know I've had gut feelings and intuitions that I should do this or I should do that, or should not trust this person to only learn they did not have my best interest in mind or heart. I believe we're all guided in every day. How many of us really listen to that voice that is speaking to us all? Or trust that voice? The Creator, our angels, our guides, the people in the spirit world who love us unconditionally. They are there helping us every step of the way, if we would truly listen. Perhaps many of us don't know how to listen or trust that guidance. I believe we reap more karma than we need to at most times. Yes, we do learn great lessons from those experiences. But evolution of the soul doesn't mean we have to make it harder for ourselves. What if we truly trusted that voice? What choices would you make different? What choices could you make different? Or would you make different right now in your life? If you truly knew how to listen and trusted and followed that guidance and messages that you receive from the spirit world. Like Heather Myatt, a stay-at-home mom who utilizes her intuition and her cards to make intuitive decisions for herself and her family. Jan Harrison, Reiki teacher and master, thought she had an overactive imagination. When she shared the images and feelings that came to her, her impressions were validated by her clients. Carol Grimmett, intuitive and teacher, overcame her self-doubt and learned to trust her connection to spirit and share her messages and teachings with others. I'm Becky Keen. I'm a business strategist and a soon-to-be published author. For years, I ignored my inner voice, my own intuition. I was working at a job that I'd fallen out of love with, and I could feel something, you know, pulling at me and leading me down a different path, but I could not for the life of me follow my own wisdom. I was stuck and the universe decided to conspire and really send a message to me. That's when I was involved in a really serious car accident with my daughter and you know that day after the accident I came home completely shooken up and 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 I could feel, you know, I sensed this this greater purpose and I said to my husband that night I said I will never do something that is different from who I am. The day of the car accident, I had this almost out-of-body experience where I felt the presence of my father who had passed away when I was 12 years old. And it was such validation for me that we are not alone. We are supported by so much more than what's tangible. I had all of the things that we're supposed to have. This beautiful home, a loving husband, two healthy children, uh, a great job, and yet I was still deeply unhappy. And I didn't know how to move forward with that. So the, the car accident really showed me how much I already have and I became so grateful for everything that was in my life and I was able to see what was and what had been immediately in front of me waiting for me waiting for me to pick up and and start running with so I started to tune in and listen I started to connect with the energy and my guides and uh, my own intuition that had been there all along but that I'd been ignoring and I started to go down the path to who I already was and I started writing I wrote my book 
I started working with other women and I radically changed how I show up in the world. And it was so freeing to finally become the person that I had wanted to be. Shauna Eyre learned how to listen to her inner voice and hear her spirit guides. So speaking with Sean, he's taught me to believe in myself and to not listen to what everybody else thinks you should or shouldn't do. He taught me to listen to my inner guidance and the more I listened and was quiet, the louder it became and the easier it was to hear it. And I mean, that doesn't mean it was all the time easier to hear because being human, doubt always does come in. But every time I went back to him, he would just confirm things for me and just bring me to that, that level of confidence and belief in myself that, you know, that I am on the right path and that what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, what I'm, what's going on with me energetically, it is real and it's not just made up and in my head, which society, a lot of them just would make you believe. And, you know, it's, it's trusting me that it's, it's okay to be seen and it's, it's who you are. Like, you listen to yourself and it will guide you to where you're meant to be. Whatever wisdom comes out of my mouth, it's, it's helping them to um, adjust, you know, on their own path. And then they realize things that, you know, they go into that dark space that we all go to. And when they speak with me, they're like, oh my gosh, I did not even realize that it was even holding me back. And, you know, it's like, always, there's always usually tears involved every, every time when I speak with people. And that's not really my intention. But I think when I speak with people, it releases stuck energy that they didn't realize they have. So it's, that's really what is, you know, kind of going on. So I don't know where it's going to go, but I just, I feel something. I feel something happening. We all have access to the spirit world. And when you grow in your spirituality and you grow in your connection and learn and understand the language of spirit, you become more intuitive and psychic. What are the consequences of not following your guidance or not listening to your divine connection? More karma that we don't need. It doesn't matter who you are, or what you do in your life. We all need to listen to our inner voice and our guidance. Like Heather Mide, a stay-at-home mom who struggled with making choices regarding herself and her family. Or Jan Harrison, a Reiki teacher and a Reiki master. Jan has doubted herself in the images and messages that popped into her mind while giving healing. Each time she did trust her impressions, it was like a window had opened and she was filled with a rush of confidence. Or Carol Grimmett, who had to learn the trust that she was getting real messages. And she did indeed have a real gift. Also Becky Keene, who had been stuck in her job and had a deep calling to follow her path in life. Until one day her inner voice and guidance pushed her to write her first book and to help others find their path and voice in writing. As well as Shauna Eyre, who had been to me several times, where I affirmed her spirit connection was true, helping her trust her guides, her angels, that they were speaking to her and it was not her imagination. All these people have had to overcome doubt, fear, and not trusting their inner voice and guidance to walk their paths that they do today with confidence, knowing that they are guided by the spirit world every day. That they have learned to trust their voice and not to brush it off as their imagination. We can all truly hear and listen to the voice that guides us every day. The Creator, our guides, our angels, and our friends and family in the spirit world. Spirit Talk a Tribe will change how you interact with the spirit world and give you the knowledge and tools that will literally change your life. You can officially sign up to be part of Spirit Talk a Tribe on September 7th. I will close down the sign up link to the training site on September 30th at 12 midnight. Nobody will be able to get in after that time. This way, 
it ensures that everybody's on the same page every month in your growth and understanding of my teachings, of how to raise your energy up, how to connect and communicate to the spirit world, as they're all waiting to connect and communicate back to you, and how to understand and grow your intuition and psychic abilities. Please sign up for my email list on my website at www.sean-leonard.com. Go down to the Spirit Talker Tribe tab. And when you do sign up for my email list there, you'll get three free gifts. A video containing five free starter tips on how to grow your intuition and psychic abilities. The first four chapters of my book, The Language of Spirit, in PDF format. And a free Meet Your Spirit Guide meditation. Also, please join the free Facebook group that is open to everyone who's interested in learning more about Spirit Talker Tribe. I'm super excited to be able to guide you all on your spiritual growth and journey and development, helping you become more connected to the spirit world, understanding your intuitive and psychic abilities. There are no accidents, and I know that you were guided here by a higher source. We're going to do this together. Spirit Talker Tribe. And, and I find that the more that I embrace the learning and accept who I am, what is showing up in my life, and believing in myself, that, that those are the keys. It's like, don't look outside of yourself for what you need. If you feel you need something, then then you need to look within yourself and give that to yourself.